when we talk about sclerotherapy, it has changed quite a bit over the last 10 to 15 years. Originally, it really referenced injecting spider veins, the little red threads you see on the skin, with a salt solution that would inflame them, close them, and make them go away. But that has evolved considerably with the use of new medications. The medication of choice for treating spider veins is a medication called the taxisclerol or polydocanol, or in the United States it goes by the name of a sclera. These tend to have less of the issues that, that saline had. Saline was noted for causing burning and sometimes pigmentation of the skin. We see far less of that with these products. We've also discovered that we can use some of these newer agents on bigger veins than spider veins. A field has developed that we call ultrasound-guided foam sclerotherapy. So some of these medications can actually be mixed with air or mixed with a gas, and a foam is created. If you can imagine injecting a liquid into a pipe and it wants to roll along the bottom of the pipe and now you inject a foam and it wants to coat the entire vein that that might be a more effective treatment. With ultrasound guidance we can actually place a needle inside a vein, inject this foam and close the vein up. It will inflame the vein and basically have the same result that an endovenous ablation would have. Sclerotherapy of the spider veins is the treatment of choice and usually after this uh, the, the uh, doctor or nurse who's doing the procedure will have you wear a, a stocking for a few days up to a week possibly two weeks the only restriction we place is on people uh, getting what I would call overheated and they go sit in a hot jacuzzi or a hot sauna or they come out of a spinning class, they're going to be beet red because they're flushed, their circulation is dilated to get rid of the heat. We think that it makes sense to try to avoid that for a week, but they can resume walking. They can go right back to work after the procedure. Some of the side effects of sclerotherapy, which are very rare, people can have an allergic reaction to the medicine just like they could to, to any medication, but that's uncommon. Often they'll feel some itching after these injections. The itching will go away in several hours. And sometimes they will develop what we call trapped blood. So you actually injected the medication in this little vein and when you did it, you flushed the blood out of that vein and it inflamed it. But then as you got up and walked around, a little blood leaked back in, but then the vein sealed and this bit of blood is stuck in the middle. It's not harmful, but it does just sit there so it appears as a little dark line. So when we see that, we usually ask the patient to come back and we'll just poke that with a little needle. And when you squeeze it, this trapped blood comes out and that, that eliminates the concern.